Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you all 20 landing pad locations here in Hogwarts Legacy. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So for our first location, we're gonna start on the northern side of the map and we're gonna head over to the pit upon Ford of fast travel. Now, just south of this flu flame is where our landing pad's gonna be. So you can put a marker just south here and go ahead and take this fast travel. Once taking that flu flame, hop on your broomstick. All you gotta do is fly up and you can pretty much already see the landing pad. It's, it's on this wooden stand thing over here. So you can fly on over to it, jump off your broomstick and get your first landing pad. For our next location, we're going to head east and we're going to go over here to the east north Ford Bog Flu Flame. As you guys can see, I've already placed a marker down on the right side of these little connecting rivers here is where our next landing pad is going to be really, really close to this small bandit camp against this mountainside. So put a marker down over here in this area. Go ahead and take the east north Ford Bog Flu Flame. And once you do, you can go outside, hop on your broomstick and just fly towards that marker. Uh, I would recommend going above the tree so it's a little bit easier to see. But once you get over here, you guys will see that we have another wooden stand. And on this wooden stand is our second landing pad. Our next landing pad is going to be on the western side of the map. So we're going to head all the way over here into this little corner. And the location is actually going to be right here on the side of this mountain. So the flu flame we're going to take is the one that's down here, the Coro Ruins. It's the quickest way there. And go ahead and place a marker that's right here in front of this mountain. Our location is going to be on the side of the mountain, not at the very top. So once you come down here and take this Ruins Flu Flame, hop on your broomstick and fly toward your marker. And as you fly toward the side of this mountain, you'll start to see the landing pad show up over this tree line. Again, we're not going to the very top. We're going straight ahead to the side. And you guys can see that right here on these rocks in front of me is landing pad number three. For our next location, we're going to head over to the East North Hogwarts Region Flu Flame, and our location is going to be just west. So as you guys can see, I've already placed a marker down. There's going to be a small little hill right here uh, that our landing pad is on top of. So go ahead and place your marker there. Take the East North Hogwarts Region Flu Flame, and once you do, hop on your broomstick and head toward that purple mark. Again, this will be pretty hard to miss because it's on top of a little uh, rock platform over here. But once you get out of the trees, it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, it's right here on top of these rocks. So come right over here, and this is your fourth landing pad. For our fifth landing pad, we're going to head to the eastern side of the map. This location is actually going to be found just east of Hogsmeade. So if you look just east of Hogsmeade, you're going to have this area where it almost looks like different layers of a hill or a mountain here with some trees on the top. Our location is going to be on the side of this hill. So again, just east of Hogsmeade, all you really need to do is put a marker in this area and then come over here and take the east Hogsmeade Valley Flu Flame. And once you walk out the door, you guys are going to see a lot of open space between here and the platform. So Without cutting, we're going to head about 300 meters this direction. And as we get close, like I said, you, you guys will start to find this one pretty quick. It's not going to be on the very top of this hill. It's going to be on the side down here. So it's starting to get dark in the game. So it's a little harder to see it right now. But as you guys can see, as we get a little bit closer, it's located right here in front of me on the side of this hill. So you can get your next platform right here. For our sixth location, we're going to head east of the Hogwarts Castle over to the small town of Aaronshire. So we're going to end up taking this flu flame and our location is going to be just south of the town. So right on the bottom of this mountain here, this one is a little bit hidden. But if we come from the Aaronshire flu flame, you guys will be able to see it pretty quickly. So go ahead and take that flu flame. And as soon as we do, we're going to head toward that marker that we just placed. Head down the pathway through these trees. And once you're out of the trees, you guys will start to see where it's at as it's kind of under this little rock bridge thing we've got going on here. So right here is your sixth landing pad. Our next location is going to be pretty easy to find is we're going to head south of the Hogwarts Castle. And down here we have a flu flame titled West Hogwarts Valley. All we're going to do is take that flu flame and we're going to go on top of this mountain that's just north of it. So go ahead and take that flu flame, hop on your broomstick. And if we go toward the marker we just placed down, you guys will see the mountain here. And all we have to do is go to the very top of this mountain and right on the top of these rocks. You guys will see right here we have our next landing pad. So for our next location, we're going to head a little bit more southwest down here to the north Feldcroft Flu Flame. And once you get down here, the location is going to be just northeast. So right here on the edge of this mountain is where our next landing pad is going to be. So if you put a marker in this area, go ahead and take the north Feldcroft Flu Flame. And once you do, just head toward that marker. We're going to go just over a small little ruin area. And on top of the hill behind it is going to be your eighth landing pad. For our ninth location, we're going to head east and we're actually going to take the Keenbridge Flu Flame that's located down here. But for the sake of the landing pad, the location is actually on this mountain. When you come up here, you're going to find a castle or a ruined castle, and it's going to be located in this castle. So if you go to Keen Bridge, all we have to do is go west and you guys will find that hill. So go ahead and take the Keenbridge Flu Flame. And once you do, just head toward the marker. You guys will already see from here 
the ruined castle that is up here. And our landing pad is going to be on the top of this castle. Now, if you haven't already been up here, there's going to be a lot of enemies. So I wouldn't recommend going to the ground unless you're looking for a pretty big fight. But again, once you get up here, you guys can see our next landing pad is right here. Our 10th landing pad is actually extremely easy to find. We're going to head southwest all the way down here uh, to the south Feldcroft Flu Flame. And once you get down here, all you're going to do is take this Flu Flame. You're going to spawn in a little hut. And once you walk outside the door, all you want to do is turn right. You're going to see a giant rock. We're going to hop on our broomstick and fly up to the top of this rock. And here is going to be your 10th landing pad. So for our next location, we're going to head a little bit more northeast. And this location is going to be essentially in the little cutout of this mountain here. So there's actually a building that's located right here at the base of this mountain. And uh, you're going to have your landing pad on top of that building. So the quickest way there is to come over here to the Feldcroft Flu Flame. Go ahead and take that, hop on your broomstick, and head towards the marker that you placed. As you get over here, you guys will start to see uh, the destroyed buildings. It's going to be on the one on your left here. So as you fly over to this building, you guys will be able to see on the marker just to the left here is going to be our 11th landing pad. So our next location is actually going to be just south of this giant mountain. You guys will see on the bottom part of this mountain, we have a small little river that flows down. The location is going to be on the hill that's right at the bottom of this river. So the quickest way here is to take the Irondale Flu Flame. And once you take that Flu Flame, just head left toward your marker. And you guys can already see from here, our landing pad is right here on top of this hill. For our 13th location, we're going to head east and we're going to have two Flu Flames over here. We're going to have the East South Sea Bog and we're also going to have... Uh, where I'm standing, the Mind's Eye. You're going to want to take the Mind's Eye Flu Flame. Even though this one shows that it's closer, it's going to take you in the cave and it's going to take you a lot longer to get there. But the next location is actually just north of this Flu Flame location. So put down a marker just north of here. Go ahead and over uh, to the Mind's Eye Flu Flame and take that. And once you do, just turn around and head toward the marker that you placed. It's going to be at the bottom of the hill. So as you fly over all this stuff here and you work your way down, you guys will see that there's a couple trees down here. And your next landing platform is going to be right here on the hill. For our next couple locations, we're going to head to the next part of the map. So we're going to head southeast here. And once we get down here, you're going to have the Marinwim Bridge uh, Flu Flame. We're going to go ahead and take that Flu Flame. And the location is actually going to be on the other side of the bridge on the very top. So go ahead and take the Marinwim Bridge Flu Flame. And once you do, we're just going to get on our broomstick and go left. And the landing pad is going to be right here on top of this bridge. For our next location, we're going to head northeast and we're going to go over here to the coastal mine flu flame and the location is actually going to be just south. So if you guys follow this path all the way down, put a marker down at the bottom of this path where it kind of connects here and go ahead and take the coastal mine flu flame. And once you take that flu flame, we're just going to fly toward our marker and you guys will see a giant flag on top of the hill here. Just fly toward that flag. You guys can see just underneath the flag is going to be our next landing pad. So I'll get a little closer. As you guys can see, it's right here. Our next location is pretty easy to spot on the map. As we head southwest, you guys will see that we have a little strip of land that kind of comes out into the water here. Your next landing pad is going to be at the end of that little strip. So what we'll do is we'll come over here to the Marin Weem Ruins Flu Flame. Go ahead and take that. Be careful. You'll have a lot of dark wizards flying around if you haven't been out here. But get on your broomstick, go left. And you guys can see from here that your next landing pad is going to be on top of those rocks right in front of me. For our next location, we're going to head south and we're going to go down here to the West Manor Cape Flu Flame. And the location of your next landing pad is going to be close to this marker. It's actually not going to be on this hill. It's going to be near the water. So it's going to be on the side of the mountain. So go ahead and take the West Manor Cape Flu Flame. Once you do, you'll spawn in a hut. Walk outside the hut, hop on your broomstick, and we're going to go right. And all we're going to do is fly along the side of this little mountain here. And you guys will see these two giant rocks in front of me. Our landing pad is going to be just behind them. So if we fly over top of these rocks, you guys will see our next landing pad is located right here. For our next location, we're going to take the exact same flu flame as we did for the last one. So we'll take the West Manor Cape flu flame. And your location is going to be on top of this giant rock down here. So just south of the flu flame, you'll see two giant rocks. It's going to be on top of the biggest one. So go ahead and take the West Manor Cape flu flame once again. Once you do, you can head outside the door, jump on your broomstick, and as you guys can see, I won't even fly over, all the way over there for sake of time, but on top of that giant rock right in front of me is going to be your next landing pad. For our next location, we're going to head east all the way over here to the Cragcroft Flu Flame. Our location is going to be just south of this Flu Flame in this area. You guys will not be able to miss this one. Go ahead and take the Cragcroft Flu Flame, and once you do, you're going to spawn in this little hut. You're going to hop on your broomstick, go outside, and turn left. And I won't fly all the way over there again for the sake of time, but you guys can see right in front of me this giant rock structure that's in the water. Your next landing pad is on top of this rock structure. 
And for our 20th and final location, we're going to head south down here to the Klagmar Castle Flu Flame. And the location is going to be just east. It's going to be on the back side of this mountain. So I'll show you how to get there. Go ahead and take the Klagmar Castle Flu Flame and be careful when you take this. If you haven't been in this area, you'll probably start getting attacked pretty quickly. But hop on your broomstick. We're going to head left and go toward our marker. You guys can see kind of this giant rock mountain in front of us. We're going to go behind it and it's going to be on the lower end. So we'll fly around here towards the water and once we get back here we'll just take a left and once you make it around this corner you guys will see our location is right here in front of me but these are all 20 locations for the landing pads here in Hogwarts Legacy I hope this helps some of you guys out if you have any questions make sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video